About the Bass. I am Lee. I'm Cece. Thank you for joining us. Well, we thought today, let's just grab two combos, same sort of price, same, roughly same sort of power, um, but obviously different brands, different features, and just see how they play off yeah. against each other, you know? So, um, yeah, as you can hear through that intro there, uh, Cece's through the GK, um, and I'm through this lovely little Mark bass. Um, I don't know if I've actually played with this before. I think this might I'm be a I'm not sure either. New... Yeah, yeah, I definitely, we've, we've done something with this before. Yeah. But, uh, which is, yes, yeah, lovely, lovely, meaty, meaty big bass amp. This thing I think is pretty new, but again, for the size, it's, it's kicking out all, all of the, the fun frequencies. <laughs> so, uh, but no, thanks for joining us. Before we go any further, please like, subscribe if you haven't done that already. Click some more videos that are up here. Coming up, popping up, open them another window. We love you. Thank you. Um, so, Cece, would you like, which I think maybe just go for it, go for it, yeah. maybe clean, and then we can maybe sort of layer some. I was going to say, this is what I'm curious about, because I'm interested to see what kind of things you can do on both of them, because they're quite different sounding amps. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And, and it's, I guess, to see if someone can use either or in a, yeah. you know, certain setups, whether, you know, one's preferred for the other, or they're pretty versatile for, you know, most styles of music. Um, they kind of have their own, not stigma, but like uh, they're characterised <laughs> yeah, for like yeah. certain, certain players yeah. normally. So this is normally a bit heavier maybe with the Galen Kruger, um, a little bit more versatile normally with the Mark Bass, but actually again, hearing what you're coming out with that, like there's some really lovely more sort of subtle things you can do with that. Yeah. And maybe some harder things you can do with this that people don't yeah. really realise, you know. Definitely. So, yeah, so I'm, should I'm curious. I, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking, should I just talk through what's on the back here? Yeah. Go just to uh, give everyone an idea. So when it comes to setup wise, we've got pad, input gain, a contour, so a little EQ, EQ contour, treble, high mid, low mid, bass, a boost, if you should so need, a master, limiter, a horn. Oh my God, there's everything. That, Look at this. That's what I meant when I said it's got yeah. like 50 billion. <laughs> everything you would need. And uh, auxiliary in, so if you want to yeah, play with some MP3s, plug some stuff through. Phones, uh, pre and post, everything. Everything you should need, obviously DI out as well. So we I go do through. like though that everything's pretty self-explanatory. Like it's like, oh, there's so many features, but when you look at it, it's like, okay, I get it. Yeah, no, so, that's it. It's yeah. nothing too too mad. There's not really much going on in the back that I can I can see. So uh, it's pretty much what is on that on that panel. And I think this is, this looks like a 115. It is, yeah. yeah. Wicked. So yeah, 115 compared to a 112 as well. That's that'd be interesting mm -hmm. just to play them off. But yeah, say roughly about 800 to 900 pounds for you know either of these. So, but please do check out the website with all the full specs are on there. I'll give you a few as we run run through. But yeah, the full details are online. So please have a look on there. So, uh, so Cece, I'm, I'm gonna would just you like, like to <laughs> run through a range of different things because I want to see the scope. Yeah, and, lovely. Uh, yeah. but then I think Well. That's really nice. And say so holding it really well, so with the one speaker yeah. from here, you know, sort of in the room. It's, it's got lovely, a real depth lovely. to it. Totally. That's kind of what I was curious about is how it deals with the low end and the high end at the same time. Because nice. some amps aren't that <laughs> clear. It's true, yeah, but, with that. Um, yeah, this one seems range. to do it really well. And uh, I'm also curious about this, but let me Ooh. not deafen everyone. Oh, some dirt. Some dirt. <laughs> some golden plexis. It is uh, slightly reminiscent of. Uh... Oh, it's got that 
<laughs> yeah, that spark to it. It, it does, that's, yeah. That's, yeah, really nice. But that's one thing I noticed about Galleon and Kruger is they've got a kind of glassy sound, but not in a negative way. Okay. It just gives it a nice kind of sparkle and really yeah, kicks that higher out, so. resonance. To yeah, it. lovely. Oh no, nice. Well, I don't know if I'll, I'll mess around too much with the amp just yet, but um, I'm thinking anything else you want to try because I might actually, while we're doing that, I mean, just swap you over to the Mark Base. Yeah, the go same for thing. it. You know, like I, to see. I was kind of curious how it's going to deal with. Fuzz, distortion, and wah. Do it all. <laughs> yes, yes, nice. But uh, without deafening everyone. <laughs> That's a thing, isn't it? Oh, I like that sound. Cool, that's, that's got me. That's, oh, brilliant. Oh, that's lovely, that is as well. That's like you're, you're on the, you know, the Cliff Burton vibe. Yeah, There's yeah, something else going on there yeah. as well. That's, oh, it's yeah. lovely. And totally, I think that, that 115 there is, is taking that it. really well. Yeah, yeah, yeah just like, definitely. No, I can hold this. Keep it going, keep it coming, keep it going. <laughs> Wicked. Well, if that's all right, guys, if I just swap over CC, if they're right. Sorry, two seconds, two seconds. Just literally swapped over the amps so this is cc same board and everything but through the little mark base and this is the little mark 58r combo which um there's a bit of the range should you need any different sizes or anything but so yeah this is a decent i think 300 watts on its own you can extend mm -hmm. it to 500 with another cab um so still powerful for such a dilly little thing definitely so but can considering it... that that one's 200 watts on its own oh okay oh that's interesting i know for the size as well yeah, yeah. you think you'd be yeah right a little bit more with that big thing i know <laughs> but um i mean it's, it's loud uh but they're both apparently meant to be lightweight so Ooh. considering the size that's something i'm curious to know about we should as well. do that in a sec we should do that in a sec yeah nice oh yeah well Unleash, unleash. <laughs> see, see, see about this. Let's go, let's go, same cycle, so cool. clean. That still sounds really nice. It's it's lovely, but it has got uh you can tell just from from that. I think yeah. I'd like to sort of a a b quicker if we could, but mm. but that sounds lovely. It's got its, its own thing yeah, as well. It's much more mid rangey. It's a much kind of smoother tone, but I like it. Yeah, it's got its own character definitely. Sweet. Um, okay, well it does that. Yeah, that lovely clean sparkly reverby delays things really really well. That's nice. <laughs> How does it hold up with the plexi? Let's see. Oh. Different sort of bite to it. I can't yeah, hear as much again, of the Yeah, again, much high. smoother. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, definitely that over, more rounded all, yeah. all around, isn't it? So. I think if you want that kind of overdriven but slightly mellow sound, it's it works really well. It might be the mock bass. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, Lovely. Fuzz 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 I go on then. Unleash. <laughs> And that was lovely. And I, I get what you mean. It's so more smoothness. Yeah. But there was also an interesting thing that was happening there. With certain notes, you, it was picking up more of the harm, the overtones. I the noticed harmonics. that as well. I mean, out of curiosity, if you leave it, does okay. it feed back? <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But 
in it, a totally different way to the gal in the Karuga. Well, that's it. So. Oh, that was oh, that's interesting. Yeah, for my for my own yeah. mind as well. Just to yeah, just to compare like that. Um, just to give you an idea, just of what's on the, the controls on here as well, just so I can see, you've got a, a mid-range um, EQ. There's like three different settings that you can put on there, but we've actually got it flat. Um, then you've got gains, you've got, what's it, gain, low, mid-low, mid-high, high, old school. We haven't brought that in yet, but uh, that's that's another feature where it's just a little bit more of a vintage sort mm. of tone to it, and overall, that you can actually swap that for more of a modern sound round into a, an old school thing but that could be pretty usable i mean actually just just for my for like, doing old school. interesting i'm just going to whack old school all the way up and just to see if there's a difference you see so that's modern That sounds great. That's cool. I mean, and that's like, it pretty much is just, yeah, getting all that, that high end yeah. tone and still really smooth, but yeah. just warming it all up. Um, but there's a nice little balance in between there. I sort of Definitely. pulled it back just for like half and half. I noticed both amps make me play slightly differently. Ooh, like, oh, obviously, I play a certain way anyway, like everyone does, but I always find it interesting when you play through different gear to see how it affects the way you play. Because through this one, I'm playing a lot lighter. Okay. And whether it's because yeah. it's that more mellow sound and that's just how it makes me feel. Whereas this one, it makes me really want to dig in. Just so, go, yeah. yeah. That's interesting. No, it's an interesting point as well. And obviously, you know, we we sort of do that. Like right now, we've got, you've brought your pedal board. You've got, your yeah. I brought my bass in. We thought just as we we're showing off the amps, have something that we're used to. Because actually that's another thing we don't really talk about. We don't have to, but obviously we're very privileged to be yeah. here, to be doing, you know, giving this information to yourselves. Um, but that can be quite alien, where you're Definitely. literally using so much different gear and bases, yeah. especially, where you're not really used to them. Yeah, um, straight out of the box yeah, as well, no yes, setup. That's there. it, <laughs> Just, you know, possibly weirder strings that you're not used yeah. to, even that can all add into it. So, um, yeah, hopefully you're getting more of us at the moment, yeah. you know, sort of as, as much as we can. Um, but that's really interesting. That's really, really cool. Yeah. Nice, okay. Give him a play, Lee. <laughs> would, yeah, would you mind? Oh, oh I'm going to want to feel Go some on. of this. Okay, let's see what. So I'm just going to whack that old school thing just off again, just for now. So um, this is what you get in just natural bass. And by the way, there's a little bit of an EQ on this as well. Obviously, this, this active bass, just a little bit, few sort of mid bumped, bass bumped. But um, apart from that, it's just the amp. <laughs> Pedal, it, again, yeah. they're getting that smoothness, like you're saying, because I've got um, I've got Gens, Gens Benz, so now Gensler, um, which are yeah, very, very precise and, and clear and everything. You're getting that from this, but yeah, there's definitely like that extra mid or yeah. that you're getting through it. It complements your playing really nicely, oh, I think. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, well, actually, do you know what? I've always looked at these and think, do you know what? Maybe that is the way next way to go <laughs> um but yeah that's a, yeah what well, a very interesting point like uh, you know a lot of my gigs now are a lot of function stuff you know just um live uh covers all, all that sort of thing i don't do too much original stuff anymore where i would get a little bit more free reign to uh play like me a little bit more you know like some more of the chord sort of stuff i've never been too much into the slap but a lot of the finger style that dead yeah. note thing um and the amp that i've got definitely accentuates that and what I've, when I've played Mark Bass before it does seem to suit my yeah. playing you know and, and again like you're saying that that extra punch sort of thing and it's right in the right places yeah yeah but it's whether that I could whether that would suit the covers you know it's more like yeah. maybe if I would if I had the the, the luxury to have a, an amp for home with more of my style mm. that you know th this may fit into that but live I might need something yeah extra power you know to open up the sound a little bit more um so personally yeah i i i'm, I'm loving that for my my playing but 
this might be a thing as well. I was like, actually, but yeah, I'm curious. This might do that as well, but it's got the extra grunt that I need for live. So, yeah, okay. I'll have another little little play of the malt bass. I've got a few pedals here. Let me just give a little. Let me get a little 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 wobble. Yeah, little wobble. I'm not really a player, pedal player, but. <laughs> Again, I don't, know, I don't know why yeah. I was expecting it to be a little bit more muddy mm. through the mob. I don't know. That's it's more not. Of a, yeah, yeah, preconception that I've just smashed. It's, it's interesting because you're a totally different player to me. And you, obviously you've got different requirements, but like you do the jazz funk stuff really well. And I think that really suits it. OK, yeah. Because a lot of my playing is more centred around either. There's no in between. It's either like melodic bass. Yeah, it's wicked. <laughs> or like literal bass solos and metal and uh, obviously a lot of what i do live yeah. is prog metal or blues oh, mate. so yeah cool i mean i'm always looking for stuff that can handle loops and keeps everything nice and separate and doesn't muddy it up I get so you. Yeah. i feel like although that handled it really well i think the extra bit of clarity in this one suits that if suits that's something you that you think. do right. yeah yeah great and I think just that we're saying about the speaker size there as well. If you're introducing a lot of this and where mm. you're actually manipulating the signal a little bit more in it, the speakers new, need to do a little bit more work because of all that um, extra sensitivities and the little nuances that are going on with those yeah. pedals. So, um, yeah, but I, yeah, but then again, someone might have been listening to this as well and been hearing like, oh, okay, yeah, I, I get what Cece's saying, but I like the tone that she when yeah, she yeah. was playing for it, you know. So yeah. Again, it's all personal preference, isn't it? It's all. I think a lot of it comes personal. down as well to like how you feel when you play through something. Because, like I was saying, that makes me play differently, and it's a really nice feeling. But I, I wouldn't say that I play exactly as I naturally would, if that makes any right. sense. So. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, oh, that's interesting. Right on that. Do you know what? Let me swap over. <laughs> Straight away, I know what you mean. I, I wanna, I'm, I'm digging in. I know it's <laughs> I totally get what you mean. That, yeah. that is that is doing the same thing to me. I think. Yeah, it's so funny. Anyway, that extra head, it feels like extra headroom, but say so we're not really any different in power too I much. Know. But I, I'm definitely wondering. more open and I, yeah. I'm getting, yeah, that, that yeah. sound, so. Have you got new strings? Brand new strings. I can tell. Have you really? Oh, <laughs> just... Mine are like really old now. Oh, no, fair enough. Oh, okay, but, but, but very, I mean, very good point. Here's yeah. what it could sound like with new strings. Ah, yeah, it's spangly. <laughs> oh, it is nice. Oh, I, I should do it more often. New string day on a bass. Like, you just don't... It sounds great. Oh, you... So, I, I rarely notice, but now I'm playing more gigs, it's like, it seems to be that, yeah, every month now it's like... Come on, come on, yeah. actually put some new things on it and... That's made me realise how much I need to change this. <laughs> no, oh, well, and again, that's going to affect things, you know, at, to an extent as well, right? So certain pedals react yeah, slightly definitely. different with that extra zing going through with the strings but as well. That's the thing that I look for a lot in sounds. Like, my favourite thing is to have that bit of zing in it. Nice, Not yes. meant to rhyme, but... Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So when I'm looking at an amp, I kind of want to hear at least a hint of that. And although I like different sounding amps, my natural state and what I would go to is that really like low end, high end with that zing on the top. Yeah, okay. That's my favourite kind of sound to play with. So. Nice. Yeah. And, and I guess that's what you found from what you're doing with the experiment with yeah, the pedals. Yeah. That does work Compliment best for it. you. Yeah. yeah, cool. Well, hopefully, hi, sorry, <laughs> this is lovely. I mean, yeah, we're, we're learning about each other as well. This is great. But um, if you say any comments or anything is you think this might be 
helpful. Obviously, we can we can uh, showcase some more around this same sort of sort of money um, or a different price point if you are interested. But hopefully, this gives you an idea if you were looking at an amp around this sort of sort of money and thinking, actually, yeah, I do need something that's gonna gonna gig. Um, obviously, yeah, DIs on on both and everything, so they are able to go out in front of house or monitors, whatever you need. Wait, should I we just check just the right? Yeah, good say, point. Yeah, good I'm, point. I need to know. <laughs> Get the muscles out. <laughs> Wow, I could probably like two fingers. <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's uh, that's light. That's light. Okay, so then one twelve. So then, okay, one fifteen. Watch me, watch myself on the mics. Oh, okay. Yeah, I probably couldn't do that with two fingers, but that's still light for one fifteen. Is it? That is. Yeah, it's uh, not too much. Obviously, uh, Mark Base. That's one of their unique, unique sort of selling points. Is uh, when they came out first, it's like, yeah, as much power, as much as you can get in an amp, but very, very light. Yeah. Um, GK never reached you be their bag. It was all just now, just, we just got to make anything solid, solid and just <laughs> loud and yeah. Um, but now sort of venturing into that and it's very surprising for something that size that yeah. is still really, really manageable. I think we might be, might be done. I Thank you for so. joining us. Thank you. Yeah, I think we might have a bit more, <laughs> a little bit more fun with these. As we go, but please say join us again. Don't say leave us some comments. What do you think yourself? Like saying audibly, like what? Yeah, what do you prefer? Is there a preference? Have, have we got to that? Like, look, say that stage where look, you can create different sounds. We're even just swapping your amp out yeah. and the player and yeah. say strings, no strings, even you know, all affect the end result. Definitely. So, um, yes, if you're lo local, please come and do the same thing down here. Come and experiment, get some pedals out, try some amps, bring your bass. That would be amazing. Otherwise. So, just order some bits. We've got a great returns policy here. I'm, I, I must say, I must say myself. <laughs> um, the guys, the guys and girls will help you out. So, um, lovely. Thanks for joining us. We'll have a little jam out and we'll see you soon. Ta-ta.